Hi. Thanks for coming to the interview today. It's nice yeah. to meet you. Well, thank you. To begin with, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I've always been interested in teaching in a language program like this. And uh, I graduated with a degree in English and psychology eight years ago. Oh, really? Both? Yeah. Wow. And uh, then I landed my first job overseas in Japan. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. What did you do there? What kind of work? Well, I worked full-time uh, for a private language school in Tokyo for the first two years, and then I found a job at a community college. Oh, really? So exactly what did you do in your work there then? Well, I taught English and uh, culinary arts. You taught cooking classes? <laughs> well, well, I know it sounds like an unusual combination, but I completed a program in culinary arts before I got my uh, English and psychology degrees. Oh, wow. You've done a lot, haven't you? Yeah. So, what exactly, um, how did you teach and what exactly did you do? Well, uh, many of my students wanted to become chefs in restaurants or they wanted to start their own restaurants. Uh, and in our area, there were many uh, tour spots. A lot of tourists came to that particular area. And so okay. uh -huh. with English, they would be able to communicate not only with suppliers, you know, things that they needed for the restaurants, food and so forth, but also their customers. And so oh. I taught them English and cooking at the same time. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. That's interesting. And so, tasty. It was. <laughs> oh, I bet. So why did you return to the United States? How long have you been back? I've been back for uh, probably about a year now. Okay, so what brought you back then? Well, one of my former students opened a sushi restaurant uh, in town, and he asked me to work with him. Really? What's the name of the restaurant? Well, it's called Flying Sushi. Have you ever heard of it? Yes, I've been there. Their food is fabulous. It's top notch. It's really hard just to get a reservation there. I know. And, uh, well, I worked there two weeknights. And, uh, and then... So two nights a week you're working there still? Right, right. Okay, uh-huh. And then... But now I want to return to teaching. I've also been working as a therapist at a treatment center for teenagers struggling with depression and other mental health disorders. Oh, wow. That would be a really interesting job. It is, it is. Wow. You have such a wide range of experiences. Um, you know, to be honest, we have 15 people who are applying for this position, You've got quite a background, but why don't you tell me three reasons why you would be the best person for this job? Um, well, first of all, uh, I understand that different students have different learning styles. And for that reason, I've used iPads, video, music, cooking, drama, mm -hmm. role plays, and games to, to reach every student. That's good. And second, I have a background in academic and psychological counseling and advising. Uh -huh. Skills that are often needed, you know, in working with international students. Yeah, uh, that could be really helpful. So, you know, many of them struggle with uh, emotional turmoil, you know, homesickness. Yeah, coming to a new place. Right. And so making the transition can be very overwhelming. And uh, Good. So what's, what would you say would be a third reason? And finally, I speak four different languages. Four. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Well, I speak Spanish, Portuguese, and Japanese at an advanced level. At an advanced level, right. wow. And I also speak Arabic at a high intermediate level. Well, that's very, very impressive. You do have an impressive resume. Thank you. Um, what, what we're doing, we're going to have two rounds of interviews. We will contact you on Friday and okay. let you know whether or not you'll be coming back for the second round of interviews. Okay. It's been really nice meeting you, and thank you for your time.